Esteban and his friends have landed on a strange island where he's found some large lizards called iguanas. They look like the extinct dinosaurs of millions of years ago. But they still exist today in only one place in the world, on the Galapagos Islands, a group of islands in the Pacific 500 miles off the coast of South America. These islands are world famous because of their extraordinary animal life. Penguins and sea lions, which you'd more often find among the ice of polar regions, manage to live side by side with tropical plants and animals. The giant tortoise, another animal species which only exists here, gave the islands their name. The old Spanish word for giant tortoise was Galapagos. Two sea currents run close to the islands, a warm current from Mexico and a cold current coming up from the South Pole. And between them, they produce a unique climate which is neither too hot nor too cold. But how on earth did the animals get to these isolated islands in the first place? Small creatures could have been carried here by ocean currents, just as plant seeds could have been dropped by ocean-flying birds. But the huge, clumsy tortoise? It's hard to think of them swimming here all the way from nowhere. Some people think that sometime in the dim, distant past, the islands were part of the American mainland. And when the continents drifted apart, many animals became extinct on the mainland. But some, like the iguanas, continue to survive here through millions of years, as if frozen in time. 150 years ago, the English zoologist Charles Darwin paid a visit to the Galapagos and was amazed by what he saw. When he got home, he wrote his famous book, The Origin of Species, which claimed that different animal species, like man and the apes, could have had the same origin, but slowly evolved through the centuries in their separate ways. No one lives on these rocky islands. There's no fresh water. So they remain a safe haven for animals of all kinds, like a living museum of the animal kingdom.